Hey guys, it's Matt Bartram here from Warrior Fitness and Health and in this short vlog I'm going to be sharing with you when I think it's a good idea to consider giving up on your goals. So folks, have you heard quotes like this? Never give up on a goal that you can't go a day without thinking about. Never give up because great things take time. You should never ever give up because great things take time and something beautiful is going to happen at the end no matter how hard it is. So folks, I know all the great quotes say we should never ever give up, but let's be real life about this because we are real life people. There are times in life that we do need to give up on a goal, we need to assess, we need to reassess, and we need to consider giving up on a goal or changing direction. So let's go right back to basics. Basic human behavioural psychology. Our motivations and our actions are governed by one of two things. It's either moving towards pleasure or moving away from pain. So what do I mean by that? So, some examples. Let's think about substances. Let's think about food, alcohol, smoking, drugs, etc., etc. We take those to move ourselves towards more pleasure or maybe towards blocking pain. So, smoking is often a de stressor to move ourselves from a situation that's causing stress to a bit of respite. Going for a lovely meal is by inducing pleasure on a few of our five senses. Uh, to taste that amazingly beautiful food. So short term, it takes us from where we are to a more pleasurable state. So we stay in a relationship. We stay in a relationship only as long as we're getting more pleasure out of it than we are pain. And we've probably finished with people before, divorces, separations, etc, etc. And we've gone through that because we get to a point where there is more pain induced by the relationship then there is pleasure and the last example fitness and exercise and training we're offering some sort of painful state that we're not happy with our body our fitness and we put ourselves through fitness and exercise and training regimes so we can move towards pleasure and feel fitter in ourselves look better naked in the mirror perform better in an event and all that kind of thing so majority of things we do are us moving towards a more pleasurable state and away from pain. So when should you carry on with your goals? Nice and simple. If it is creating a long-term better you and improving you and moving you towards a more pleasurable version of you long-term, then it's a great time for you to carry on with your goals, assess, review and pursue that goal. But there are what I would think about four occasions or four questions where you really need to consider if this goal is for you. So my four areas what you might need to consider giving up on a goal. So area number one that you might want to consider giving up on a goal. Ask yourself the question, is this action or behaviour going to cause a long-term better version of myself and lead me to more pleasure. So an example here might be, we've all heard we should watch less telly, listen to less entertainment and do more reading. So telly and entertainment is great, it brings us short-term pleasure, but years down the line, is it going to improve us? And that's a question you need to ask yourself. So is this action going to create a long-term better version of me? Area number two or question number two you might want to consider asking yourself to see if you need to give up on a goal. Is this action, behaviour or habit going to cause long-term destructive effect on me and cause me more pain? And that might be in a physical sense, emotional, mental or a spiritual sense. So is this action going to be destructive to me as a person and cause me pain. So an example here, 
Everyone would know that having a takeaway once a week is perfectly acceptable because we get a little bit of short-term pleasure out of it, but we don't get any long-term health effects. But having junk food every single day is going to add up cumulatively and it's going to cause us pain in the long term with health concerns. So is this behaviour going to be destructive in the long term? So area number three or question number three. Have I been plateauing or stuck in a certain area for a prolonged period of time and things aren't getting better or I'm not moving towards pleasure. So what do I mean by this? Let's say, for example, you're doing a specific type of exercise routine or a training regime and it's worked really well for a year and then all of a sudden for the last six, seven, eight months, it's not working, it's not improving you. That might be a time where you want to consider giving up on that specific training or exercise goal and look at some new fresh ideas to carry on moving you forward and improving you because things will only work for so long. And area or question number four where you might want to consider giving up on your goals. Is this still my goal or is this goal still relevant at this moment in time? So we've all set a goal and we've all had to change our goals, but there's some key questions we can be asking. So we set a goal, the first question we can ask is, is it still the right time for this goal? As timing goes on, something might have changed in your life and you might actually go, in this time in my life, this goal is no longer relevant, I can't keep up with it, it's not the right time, I need to press pause and I need to revisit it later. Another question that you might need to ask yourself is, am I in the right set of circumstances still for this goal? So you might have a very specific goal for exercise or training, but all of a sudden family life has gone out, work life has gone out, health, social, or another area of your life has gone adrift and you need to press pause on the goal or just wind the goal down a bit so you can concentrate on other areas. Your specific goal may have changed. The goal that you made six months ago and now in this moment in time, you actually realise that goal is not relevant. It was a good idea at the time, I've worked at it, things have changed, this isn't my goal anymore. You have to be careful with this one because we're all going to think, what will other people say if I give up on my goal? Well, your goals and your self-development is more improvement than what others think. So. Always have a think about, is this still my goal? Is this still relevant to me? And the last area regarding, is this still your goal, is your opinion. You might have got new data come in, new information. Somebody might have said something, you've tried it, and it wasn't bringing you pleasure anymore. And you might actually go, I've changed my mind. This isn't a goal I want to work to. So you know what, I'm going to stop because life is short. And what I think about me is a little bit more important than what others think about me. So I've changed my mind, I'm stopping that goal, I'm starting this one instead. So folks, in summary, it's great to continue with your goals, but there might also be times in your life where you need to consider giving up on them goals. So if it's moving you towards long-term pleasure, carry on. If it's moving you away, from long-term pain, carry on. But if it's going in the opposite direction where there's not much pleasure involved anymore, you're actually stuck still, or it's moving you towards pain, you might wanna consider reviewing and giving up on a specific goal and making a more relevant one. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this vlog. If you would like to know any more about my work, please visit www.personaltrainertamworth.com. Look me up on Facebook, Matt Bartram PT or Warrior Fitness and Health. And please like and share this video as I give out so much more free content and I want to help as much of the community as I can. Have a great day. I will see you soon.